Hi, my name is Toby and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Behringer Wing Compact with Pro Tools. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is connect our computer to our wing. So in my case, I have a MacBook Pro M1 and it's connected to my Cal Digit TS4 Thunderbolt docking station. I love this docking station a lot because though it's more on the expensive side, for me, it's been worth every penny. It makes connecting all my studio gear to my MacBook Pro pretty simple. All I have to do is connect my MacBook Pro to the Thunderbolt cable and it's ready to go. The only thing I wish is that it had more connections, but it already has so much. The wing connects with a USB type B cable, AKA printer cable from the wing to whatever choice cable you wanna use on the other side. So in this case, you can either use a USB type A connection, or you can use a USB type B to a USB type C cable like I have here. Either one is gonna work just fine. In my case, I'm just gonna use the USB type A to connect into my dock, which is connected to my computer. But if I wanted to connect directly to my computer, I would use the USB type C cable. So go ahead and connect your USB cable into your Behringer wing as well as into your computer. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna navigate over to Setup. In Setup, we're gonna have several options at the top. We're gonna go ahead and select Audio, and first we wanna make sure that our clock rate matches the clock rate that we're gonna be using in Pro Tools. So in this case, I'm using 48K, and I'm gonna make sure that my uh, setup is in 48K. You either have the option of 48 or 44.1K. Next, we're gonna go over to the USB audio on the right side. Now, once you click this, you get several options. You can do two uh, ins and two outs, or eight ins and eight outs, and so on. In this case, I'm just one, I'm just gonna open up all 48 because it's not gonna hurt. So I'm gonna go select 48 channels. So now that we have this set up, we're now gonna go to routing. In our routing page, what we wanna do is navigate over to outputs, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we're at USB audio. If you are at a local out or anywhere else, just go ahead and click this button and select the USB audio option. Now we're gonna go ahead and find our local channels. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select all 24 local channels. So you first you're gonna click the unlock button here and to make life easier, you're gonna click this plus auto button and you're just gonna go ahead and select each channel. and now you have all 24 channels. Please keep in mind that in this scenario, my sources are coming from my local inputs on the back of my Behringer Wing Compact, and that is the reason why I selected all 24 channels. But this might not be your case. So for example, you might have your local inputs sourcing the first four channels on your Behringer Wing, but then your next four might be coming from AES-50A, and then your next four might be coming from AES-50B. You need to make sure that whatever channels you have coming into your channel strips are also mimicked here in the USB audio out. So now you are ready to actually use Pro Tools. The first thing that we're gonna do is open up a Pro Tools session. I'm gonna be opening up a new session, but you can go ahead and open up a pre-existing session. I'm gonna name this Pro Tools Wing, and I'm gonna click Create. Before we get started, we need to confirm a couple things. First, we're gonna to go to setup and then click playback engine. And we're gonna confirm that our playback engine is the wing. If not, click the drop down and select the wing. Once you select the wing, click okay. Pro Tools will restart. In my case, it's not gonna restart because I already have the wing selected and connected. The next thing that we're gonna do is navigate to setup and click on the IO. What we want to do is to confirm that we have all the channels that we initially selected on the wing. So in my case, I selected 48 channels, but if you selected 16 or 32 channels, that's how many channels you should see. If you don't, click the default button on the bottom left on the output tab as well as on the input tab. 
and Pro Tools should default to the amount of channels that you selected. Then you can click OK. Now we need some channels. So we're going to go to Track and click New. And we are first going to make one mono channel audio track. I'm going to name this SM58. And we're going to make a stereo track. And this is going to be a master fader. We are currently in the edit window and we want to go to the mix window. You can either go to window and select mix or you can click command equals. Now that I have my tracks, I just want to confirm that my input is coming from the right source. So on my IO where it says in one, I'm going to click it and drop down. As you can see, I have 48 channels because I selected 48 channels and my mic is connected to input one and I'm gonna click the record button. And as you can see, I am getting signal from my Behringer Wing. Now, let me show you how to use the Behringer Wing as a DAW controller for Pro Tools. Navigate to setup again and click peripherals. We're gonna to navigate to MIDI controllers and Pro Tools is gonna ask you for the type, which is gonna be Huey. That is a protocol that Pro Tools uses. And for the receive from, we're going to navigate down to predefine and click wing port one. And for send to, we're going to do the same thing, wing port one. And we're going to leave the number of channels as eight. For the second row, we're going to click Huey again, and we're going to click wing port two and predefine and navigate to wing port two and leave the channels as eight. And then we're going to click OK. Now let's actually create some more channels. We're going to click track and click new. And this time we're just gonna create seven more audio channels. So I'm gonna click create. And we have our seven audio channels. And I'm gonna move the master over here. So now we have eight audio channels and one master fader. First thing that we need to do is to configure our DAW. So we're gonna go ahead and click setup and navigate to DAW. Now we're gonna click DAW enable. We're gonna turn it on and our connection is going to be USB and our emulation is going to be Huey. This is the protocol that Pro Tools is going to use to speak to our Behringer Wing. And if you don't already have buttons and eight faders selected, you might just have the user buttons only. Go ahead and click buttons and eight faders so that you can use the eight faders here as well as the user controls or the user buttons on this side. So keep in mind that you're not going to be able to use these four on the Behringer Wing Compact. Now we're going to set up our custom controls. So the first thing that we need to do is select view, hold it down, and the screen would display custom controls. And these are the custom controls that we want to configure. So for the first one, we're going to navigate down to other and then select doll air. Then we're going to click the next one and we're going to select DAW buttons and this one will be stop, DAW buttons, this one will be play, DAW buttons, this one will be record. So once we have those set up, we can leave this view and select user. Now as you can see, our custom controls are lit up. If we select this first one, which is the DAW control, you see it switches between our regular cha local channel strips and then the DAW control. So as you can see, I have SM58 here and then I have all my other audio channels listed, just like in my DAW. Now you can see when I move a fader here, it's also moving here. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What do you guys think about Pro Tools and what do you guys think about the wing? I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Until next time. My, my what day is? What date? Yes. Today is Saturday. No, oh, it's Friday. Friday. Oh.